The first paragraph of Lee Harvey Oswald's biography on Wikipedia states he was placed in detention age 12, assessed by a psychiatrist as emotionally disturbed, and court-martialed twice, laying the groundwork that he was a psychotic loner. But Wikipedia is not a first-hand account by a reliable source. Anyone can write and edit a Wikipedia article regardless of their qualifications, beliefs, or bias. During my time in Texas, I had the pleasure to visit the Oswald Rooming House Museum at Oak Cliff, where Lee Harvey Oswald rented a small room from the landlady, Gladys Johnson. And for two hours, I got a chance to speak to one of the few people still alive who met a new Lee as a person. Gladys's granddaughter, Patricia Hall. Miss Pat showed me Lee's bedroom, kept as it was on the day he was arrested. His bed, his wardrobe, and the front room where we watched Walter Conkright's report on the assassination on the same television, while sitting on the sofa that Lee had once sat on. And as we sat speaking to Miss Pat about the rooming house guest who she knew in the two weeks leading up to the assassination, the Lee who she met wasn't the psychotic political maniac the press made him out to be, but a self-educated man who spoke four languages, a shy man who was adored by the local kids whose parents trusted him to babysit. And although, as many people do, he had his problems, he was a guest so liked by the landlady that she gave him the best room in the house. Which is not to say he was guilty, innocent, or as he said, a patsy, but that there is always more than one side to a person's personality. Therefore, it's impossible to get the truth about who Lee was, while we still believe the biased reporting that 60 years on still decries him as nothing more than a monster.